Welcome to Slow Home Studio. September is kitchen month and today we're going to be talking about a very specific technical detail. We're going to be looking at induction cooktops. Yeah, induction cooktops are very, very popular and they're popular because they have an incredible power to heat and boil water very, very quickly. And they're also cold on the surface, which we'll talk about in a minute. It's almost like a magical sort of appliance that everybody's got a big buzz about. That's right, and, and people probably know the word, but they don't know actually what it does. It, feel, it sounds magic, kind of like microwave. So you're gonna describe what's going on. I am, on. it's very, very simple. What it does is it takes electrical current and it converts it into a magnetic field that then transfers the heat directly into the cookware. So the surface of the cooktop actually doesn't get hot, which sounds bizarre, but if you've seen a, a demonstration of it, it's actually the truth. Right. The trick is, though, you have to get the cookware that accepts the magnetic field. You can't just go and use your old pot. You have to get a very specific type of cookware in order to work with an induction cooktop. So this is the big advantage we can see here. If we just compare the different kinds of cooking methods, let's start at the bottom. Gas, 40% efficient. So I, I have a gas cooktop, I love it, but boy, you're, you're throwing away 60% of the energy that's being yeah. generated by the gas. Electricity, slightly better, that's that old coil. The halogen, that's where you've got the, the red ceramic uh, cooktop. And then look at this, 90% efficient for, uh, for induction cooking. So it's very interesting because 90% of the energy that goes into the cooktop converts to heat and is allowed, is available for cooking. So that's a very high rate of return. The thing that's interesting about that is you can boil water in 60 seconds with an induction cooktop. This is the famous image from Miele where they've actually got ice cubes next to the boiling water because the surface is cold because there's no heat on the surface. That's right. So it's quick, it's efficient, and it is also safer because the cooktop doesn't get, get, uh, get, get hot. Uh, and here's what they look like. This is a low profile so that you can get something with a very, very thin end that integrates almost seamlessly into the countertop, or there is there are versions that have a little, they're a little bit beefier and raise the uh, the elements up off the cooktop a little bit. Yeah, but there is one proviso with the induction cooktop, and that is the electrical power. You have to make sure that you have enough power supply in your house to handle the induction cooktop because they draw a lot more power. If you have a hundred amp service and you put in an electrical or an induction cooktop and you cook a turkey dinner at Christmas, there is a chance that you're going to blow a fuse somewhere in the house. So remember, induction cooktops are the wave of the future, but you do have to be a little bit careful when you put one into your house. If you're interested in learning more about the principles of slow home design, you can pick up a copy of our book entitled What's Wrong With This House? It's a practical guide to finding a well-designed and sustainable home. It's available for sale on the Slow Home Studio website. It's also available for sale at Amazon.com in both paperback and the Kindle format.